The man well known in Ohio politics is being laid to rest today. Funeral services were held for former Ohio Governor John Gilligan just hours ago. Nine on your side reporter Lisa Smith was at the memorial and joins us now live. Well, Catherine, that service did end just moments ago. Family and friends are behind me right now, filing out of the church and greeting one another and sharing their memories of Governor John Gilligan here at St. Francis de Sales Catholic Church. They were here to honor the man who gave so much to Cincinnati, the state of Ohio, and the country. Governor Gilligan's surviving wife and children led the processional into the church where we're told he was baptized back in 1921. So his ties to the community are very strong. We talked to some in the political community about the governor's contributions and many spoke of his strong commitment to education for kids and adults alike. Gilligan was terribly committed to public education and felt strongly about that and how you could convert schools into community centers and use them more than just the days that traditionally were used for classrooms, but to use them to educate not just kids, but adults as well. Now we can tell you that security has been very tight around here today, not just because of the dignitaries, but also because one of the governor's daughters, Kathleen Sebelius, is the current Secretary of Health and Human Services. Now this is just one of two services being held today to honor the governor. There is another uh, visitation that is scheduled for 2.30 at the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center downtown. Lisa Smith, 9 on your side, live in East Walnut Hills. Lisa.